Okay, so we're going to now be looking at what the equation of a circle is, and you may have been familiar with this from GCSE, but we're going to try and extend this and look a bit further. So I've written here, recall that a line can be a set of points x, y that satisfy some equation. So suppose that we have a point x, y that I have up here on a circle, which is centered at the origin, and the radius of this circle is r. So there's a particular point that we've got on this, this equation that we're trying to describe. It's got an x coordinate, which is how much to the right it's gone, and it's got a y coordinate, which is how much up or down it's gone. And we know something that the distance from the origin to that point on the circle is r. Well, I've written down here what the equation must x, y satisfy, and I'm hoping that by looking at this diagram, you are screaming to me, that this is just going to be Pythagoras that connects these things together. And so the equation that connects these things together is that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And this is the equation that we have of a circle. We're normally used to equations being y equals something, but there's no reason that an equation can't be like this one that we've got here. So here is our equation of a circle. There are, though, variations on how we might like a circle to be drawn. So I've said here, suppose that we shift the circle so that it is now centred at AB. Previously, it was centred at the origin. We've now moved it so the centre of the circle has gone to AB. And I've said, what is the equation now? My little hint here that you might like to be thinking about is what would the sides of this right angle triangle be now? OK, well, let's just remind us of a few things. This coordinate running along the bottom here is x, and the coordinate of this is a. So we need to think, what is this distance that we have running along here? Well, hopefully you have spotted that we have this whole distance, which is x, and we have removed this distance, which is a. So this distance here is just x minus a. And we're going to follow a similar pattern for thinking about the y-coordinates. So we know that this y-coordinate, sorry, this coordinate on the circle is y uh, for this particular point that we're talking about up here. And that for the centre of the circle, the y-coordinate is b. And so this distance from here to here is going through that same logic. It is going to be this y-length removing this b-length that we've got here. So it is just going to be y minus b. But notice how the radius is still exactly the same. So for this circle that we've got here, the equation is just going to be, as I've got written down at the bottom, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. And that is just from Pythagoras. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. And the important thing to note here is that the centre is a B. So you subtract the x coordinate that's the center and you subtract the y coordinate that's the center there as well. Okay, let's try this with some quick practice. Now, you might like to pause the video and have a go here to see if you can identify either the equation of the line in these first two um, and the center and the radius for these ones that we've got here. If you want, I'll just put a reminder at the bottom that the equation is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. This is for a circle with center AB and radius r. So if I were you, I'd pause the video here and try and fill these in, and I'm going to go through them in just a second. OK, so for this first one, a and b are both 0, so it's just going to end up as being x, x squared plus y squared equals 25, which is my 5 squared. And this one is going to be x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 6 squared, which is 36. Now, a skill is often about going backwards for these kinds of questions. So here, we can see that because there's a plus 3, it's actually going to be a minus 3 for the x coordinate. Because if you think about that, you would end up with x minus minus 3, which gives you your x plus 3 all being squared there. OK, so that one we have minus 3. Let's very quickly just see what the y would be, and y would be 5. So we've got the centre is minus 3, 5, and the radius is the square root of 1, which is just 1. For this one we have here, we would have minus 5, 2, and the radius would be 7, which is the square root of 49. We would then have minus 6, and 0 is the centre of this circle, and the radius is 4. Here we're just going to have 1, 
and then minus one. So it's kind of like the opposite of what you see here. This one is minus one, so it's a one. This one is plus one, so it's a minus one. And you can see that pattern elsewhere. Plus five, plus six, minus five, minus six. And the radius of this is just going to be the square root of three. People often forget to take the square root there. And so the center of this one is going to be minus two, three. See those opposite signs that we have? And the square root of eight and the square root of eight is the same as two root two. So that's a quick bit that you're going to just do a bit of practice of finding the center and the radius from the equation and vice versa. But we're now going to try and apply this in um, a bit more of a context. So we are going to now have a look at trying to actually find the equation of a circle, but not being told some of the original starting points, just uh, sorry, not being told any of the centre or the radius, but instead being told a couple of points that maybe are on the circle or even more than that, points which are the diameter. So it says here that a line segment AB is the diameter of a circle where a and b have coordinates 5, 8 and minus 7, 4 respectively. So they don't have to be put in the right place. This tool is here. This diagram is here as a tool just to help you think about how you might answer the question. And it wants us to determine the equation of the circle. And it says, hint, what two things do we need to use the circle formula? So there are two things we need. Number one, we need to know the center of the circle. And number two, we need to know the radius. If we know the center as AB and the radius R, then we can use our circle equation formula to come up with, um, with what the equation is. So I'm going to just say this is the diameter. Now, if it's the diameter, you should know something about that middle point there. That would be the center of the circle. And sometimes we use this letter C to say that it is the center. Now we know that the center is just going to be the midpoint. So I'm going to take the average of the x coordinates. I'm going to do minus seven and five. I'm going to find their average. And then I'm going to do the four and the eight and find their average. So I've got minus seven plus five over two. And then I've got four plus eight over two. So the center of this equation, well, five minus seven is minus two. And minus two divided by two is minus one. Eight plus four is 12 and 12 over two is six. So this is the first bit we've done, finding the centre of the circle. Now, we need to find out what the radius is. Well, there's a couple of different things we could do. If we wanted to, we could find the length AB. We could find the length AB, which is the diameter. And then the radius, R, is just going to be a half of the length AB. But we've already actually found out what the centre is. So if I wanted to, instead of doing all of this pattern here, I could just find either CA or CB. I'm going to just find out what CA is in this case. So that will tell me what the radius is straight away. Um, hopefully you can remember how to find the distance CA. It is just going to be Pythagoras on the difference between the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So let's have a quick look at what I'm talking about here. Let's just keep these in the same colours so I can see what's going on. Now, the difference between these x coordinates, minus 1 and 5, is 6, so I've subtracted them. So I'm going to have 6 squared. The difference between the y coordinates, which is 6 and 8, the difference between those is just 2 squared. So I have that CA is the square root, which is the radius, is the square root of 36 plus 4 is the square root of 40. Now, putting this all together, um, we will end up with that the equation of the circle is going to be x plus 1 squared because the centre has a minus 1 here, so it becomes x minus minus 1, which is x plus 1, plus y minus 6 squared equals the radius squared. Now, that's why I didn't bother putting this in my calculator, because I knew in a second I was going to be just getting rid of that square root symbol. So the equation of the circle that we have here is this. OK, you need two things, the center and the radius. So I have one question here for you guys to have a go at, and then I will go through it in just a second. So I would recommend pausing the video here and seeing if you can answer this question, which is from a very old exam paper. Okay, 
So we've got two coordinates. Part A of the question just wants us to find the midpoint. Now we know that the midpoint is going to be the center. So I could either call it C or seeing as they're asking about the midpoint, I'm going to call it M. So it's going to be 5 plus 13 over 2 minus 1 plus 11 over 2. So the midpoint is, what's that? That's 18 over 2, which is 9, and then 10 over 2, which is 5. Now it says, given that AB is the diameter of the circle C, so there's A and B, it's the diameter. Now we know that the midpoint is the center. So we know that the center of this circle is 9, 5. That's what the, the C is standing for there. It's the center of the circle. And we can either find the distance between A and B and half it, or we can just find the distance between C and B, or C and A. Either of those are going to be the same. I'm going to do the distance between C and B here. So I'm going to be using this coordinate and this coordinate. Now, maybe I rushed a bit more in the previous slide. So the difference between the X coordinates, well, I've got 13 minus 9 squared. And the difference between the Y's is 11 minus 5 squared. So let's just quickly erase this bit because I don't need it. So that's the square root of 4 squared plus 6 squared. So that's 16 plus 36, so that's root 52. So CB is root 52, in other words, the radius is 52, and the center is 9, 5. So putting that all together, we get x minus 9 squared plus y minus 5 squared, all coming from that information here, is equal to the radius squared, which is 52. So we end up with x minus 9 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 52. And hopefully you can check by looking at this that you can very quickly tell me the centre is 9, 5 and the radius is root 52. OK, so I'm going to just pause here and we're going to go on to the next part of this, um, this exercise, which is for exercise 6C.